everyone. I want to start with showing you the painting from video 147 and a half. Um, this is the one with just uh, water and paint. And for some reason, it doesn't look like the colors are showing up as they should. Let's just see if this helps. Yeah, there you go. So... I think I will um, resin that one since um, there's no silicone on it. I don't have to worry about cleaning it, which makes it perfect to resin. All right, so I'm going to put that out of the way. So this canvas is cursed. It's been through a bazillion things. So I had a woman email me today saying I have a request and it sounds weird. <laughs> she wanted to know what it would be like if I did a pour and went over it with a rolling pin. And I responded that I was laughing and that I would do it. So, this canvas really can't take much more, so I decided this would be a perfect canvas to use a rolling pin on. Uh, her name is Paula, and she emailed me. So, I don't have a regular rolling pin, I just have like this. Oh no! There we go. So, we'll see. I assume that it's just going to be a blob. I mean, that's my assumption. So, let me see if I'm right. Um, oh, I don't have enough white. Um, let's see, what do I have in here? Not too much. Because I'm still going to do it negative pour style. Um, and I... Ooh, this must be mixed with Floetrol because I can see uh, um, like it needs to be restirred. But this is, it's all in science name, so we're just going to go with it. So I'm having an awful spell of back pain. So I film these like I do a couple a day, so that's why... When you see them every day, I'm not pouring every day. Um, so I haven't painted in a few days because I've been hurting. So I've been doing some yoga and all my stretches and taking some drugs. So just took some drugs and my back is burning from some Icy Hot. And uh, I know some of you are going to say, well, don't sit, don't lean over. But I gotta tell you, this is actually the most comfortable position for me. I mean, I I don't know why it shouldn't be. Um, it absolutely shouldn't be sitting cross-legged and leaning over. But it really is truly what is the most comfortable. Who knows? Ugh. So these are all my leftover paints with silicone in them and. Uh, I'm trying to use them up, and I have combined, oh, my sheets are done. Do you hear that ding? So I'm trying to use them up, and I blended a bunch like this. There's a bunch of different reds together, so, um, but they're all Floetrol water and silicone, but they're all slightly different. I don't think any of them are true colors anymore. Which will be good for this pour. It'll make it interesting. Yikes. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm gonna film, or I'm gonna post this one today, Sunday. And I would normally be waiting tables, but I had to take the day off because I couldn't, I couldn't be on my feet for eight or nine hours. So it's kind of sad about that. No cash this week. So far I really like these colors. Ooh, this needs a good stirring. This is totally separated. Oh, and that resin pour has fully dried. Oh, good lord, is it ugly. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm going to YouTube some more um, resin artists and see what else I can do with it. Alright, so I got this. Let's see what happens. I, I... Oh, it's not moving. Oh, yeah, this is what I thought would happen. But this isn't moving very well. Okay, so what it does is it flattens it, squishes it in two directions, and you lose everything. But it's pretty colors that remain. Look at that. Look how pretty those are. had I done it lighter it's really not that crazy of an idea put some more white in here I'm debating putting more color on it Especially since the sides of it, of this canvas, were um, blue from all the wiped off paintings. So this white that I just put on, I think is just water and paint. I don't think there's Floetrol in it. Hmm. This is pretty neat. I'm trying to decide if I should continue I'm trying to make it work. She didn't say I couldn't embellish it with a straw. <laughs> I really like these colors. very colorful jellyfish. 
These are gorgeous little jellyfish. I'm leaving it. I like this. Paula, you rock. What a great idea. I scoffed. I should not have scoffed. I shall never scoff again. I should trust my viewers. So right now I'm trying to um, cover the edges where blue is showing. And I'm covering it with, there's like paint down here that has other colors in it. So I'm hoping that all the colors will just kind of blend in and it'll look like it's supposed to. Peasy. And those are the most colorful jellyfish on earth. those fun colors? So thanks for watching. I will catch you next time.